before we could do anything with the Android SDK, we need two programs. Uh, one is Eclipse, which we'll use to program with, and the other is the Java Development Kit. Now, both Eclipse and Android require Java to be installed to work, so let's get that first. Now you can see here at this URL is where this uh, development kit currently resides, but uh, you could go to Google and just type in the search engine Java JDK, and probably the first link will take you right to the correct website. So we need this. We can't do it with the uh, Java runtime environment. We need something more powerful. So let's click to download the Java JDK. This might seem self-explanatory, but I just want to remind you to select the correct version, either 64-bit or 32, uh, uh, particularly when you install Eclipse. If you don't install the same version, 64 or 32 bit as you did in Java, they're not going to work together. So, just to confirm what you have, uh, right click over my computer on a Windows machine, select properties, and you can see here it tells you what version you have. It may seem self explanatory, but some have been confused. Okay, so let's go ahead and download this. I have a 64 bit version. I'm going to right click and save this to a specific folder on my desktop so we stay organized and some of these files need to be in the same directory anyway. So I'm going to put uh, a folder called Android in my documents and that's where I'm going to save this Java JDK. So go ahead and download that and when you're finished let's uh, click the executable and I'm going to do that now. It's going to take maybe three or four minutes to install. We want to just go ahead and select all the default settings. And um, I'm going to speed up the video so that you're not waiting for me to install this. And I'll return after it's completed. After it installs, a window will probably pop up in your browser to register. So you can do that if you want. I'm just going to close it out. And uh, now that we have that installed, our next step will be to install Eclipse, which we'll do in the next video.